Welcome to this lecture series in complex numbers. In this lecture, we'll look at an application to plane geometry of the concepts we have learned so far. Basically, we'll use the fact that complex numbers can be used to study rotations. So here's a very interesting problem in geometry, nothing to do with complex numbers. It says, suppose we start with a quadrilateral PQRS, and then from that quadrilateral, we construct this figure, which is as follows. So on each side, erect the square you know, on that side, outside of that rectangle. So on this side, RQ, we erect this square. On RS, we have this square, and similarly, we have these four squares. And then locate the centers of these squares. So this is the, this point is the center of this square, and similarly, we will get other centers. So call them A, B, C, and D. And now what we do is we join the opposite centers. So we join A with C and we join B with D. Okay. So what we need to show is that, what we want to show is that A, C, and B, D have equal lengths. and they are perpendicular to each other. So it's a purely geometric problem and a very interesting fact. Uh, using just plain geometry concepts, solving this would require some thought, some creativity, but using complex numbers, you can solve it like a computer. So let's uh, get on with it. So we will think of P, Q, R, S, A, B, C, and D as complex numbers. So these are complex numbers now. And uh, what we will need to do is we need to express or we will express the centers of the squares in terms of these complex numbers P, Q, R, and S. And then we will, we will proceed from there. So let's start finding, start by finding what this center A is. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to find the midpoint of R and this, this guy. And uh, in order to do that, first we need to calculate what is this point in, you know, what is the complex representation of this point in terms of our P, Q, R and S. So whatever is this complex, this complex number, meaning the difference of Q and R, that is sort of this vector, so to say, if we rotate that vector by 90 degree, we get this vector which is the difference of that point and Q. And if we add this vector to Q, we will get that point. So our point is Q plus 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation of Q minus R. So that is the coordinate of that point. And to take the midpoint between R and this, we just need to add R to it and divide the whole thing by two. So therefore, A has these uh, this complex representation, which implies A is equal to Q times one plus I um, plus R times one minus I, the whole thing divided by two. So that is A. Similarly, what is B? B would turn out to be R times one plus I plus S times one minus i divided by two. C comes out to be S times one plus i, P times one minus i divided by two, and D would be P one plus i plus Q one minus i divided by two. So we have found out the four centers. So therefore, D minus B, or let's say B minus D, B minus D would be, it's just a computation, it is R minus P into one plus I, plus S minus Q into one minus I, divided by two, and A minus C is Q minus S, 
वन प्लस आए प्लस आर माइनस पी वन माइनस आए डिवाइड बाई टू सो वी हैव फाउंड आउट वॉट इज दिस वैक्टर एंड दैट वैक्टर एंड वी नीड टू शो दैट दे आर ऑर्थोगनल मीनिंग पर पेन डिगुलर टू ईच अदर एंड इक्वल एंड बोथ ऑफ दोज कैन बी शोन इन वन शॉट सो वी विल वी विल जस्ट शो दैट वी जस्ट नीड टू शो दैट नीड टू शो दैट बी माइनस डी इज नाइंटी डिग्री रोटेशन ऑफ ए माइनस सी सो दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू शो बट वी जस्ट कंप्यूट वॉट दैट काज सो आई ए माइनस सी इज वॉट इट इज आई क्यू माइनस एस वन प्लस आई प्लस आर माइनस पी आई वन माइनस आई डिवाइडेड बाई टू ऑल वी डिड वॉज वी जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइड दिस का आई बाई आई एंड वॉट इज दिस दिस इज वन प्लस आई एंड दिस इज आई मीन मल्टीप्लाइंग आई विद दैट गाय इज वन माइनस आई और नो दैट इज आई माइनस वन सो वॉट वी गेट इज आर माइनस पी वन प्लस आई प्लस क्यू माइनस एस वन माइनस आई डिवाइडेड बाई टू विच इज विच इज वॉट विच इज आर माइनस पी वन प्लस आई माइनस और रादर प्लस एस माइनस क्यू आई दिस वॉज आई माइनस वन एम सॉरी दिस वॉज आई माइनस वन सो माइनस सो दिस इज आई माइनस वन वी जस्ट वी जस्ट शॉर्ट शफलिंग द साइंस सो दिस वी गेट एस माइनस क्यू वन माइनस आई and this expression matches with the expression of b minus d so we have shown what we wanted to show right and that's it that is a proof of the fact that the angle between these two is 90 degree and the lengths are equal very short very simple proof of a fairly daunting looking theorem all right so as usual like comment share subscribe and i will see you next time